beautiful souls. Here I'm Gael. Today I want to talk to you about joy. Um, we are in a difficult period presently, as you know, for the last year it's been a tough time for everyone. And um, I don't know about you guys, but I listen to a lot of, you know, uh, personal development and spiritual uh, people and um, a lot of the time I hear the expression, you know, rise your vibration. Uh, you probably heard that a lot if you if it's something you're it's an expression that you're uh, familiar with, you know, in these sort of circles. And um, what does that mean? You know, raising your vibration. Well, basically, from what I understand from it, it, it is to be able to um, to stay above uh, the doom and gloom and the difficult um, periods of uh, fear and anxiety and try to to stay positive, to stay within a certain amount of joy. And some people wonder, well, how can we do such a thing in such a difficult period? And I believe that this is uh, a very good occasion to start uh, working on this joy and try to raise that vibration. The reason why I talk about this is not necessarily because I want to pretend to be some sort of, you know, personal development person or spiritual person. It's just because um, that that concept of joy as a way to rise your vibration and to sort of stay above the the chaotic situation is something that can uh, for many people can be um, can be done through creativity and this is uh, why uh, this this is the reason why I want to talk about this because for me anyway uh, creativity creation uh, in different form of art can be a very, very um, important way to raise my vibration and to find joy within myself and within my, my everyday life. I mean, this is definitely something that I do every day of my life and uh, it really fills, uh, fills me with joy. I mean, it may be photography or writing or collage of Japanese paper, which are so colorful and full of gold and colors. And it's, it's something so, so full of, of, of uh, vibrancy that it does raise my vibration, as they say. So um, the reason uh, why I want to talk about uh, vibration today and uh, the way that creativity can can actually raise that that uh, that vibration is um, because I think there's there's many people who wonder how they could find this joy in their life. Uh, you know, it is something that we we often hear that, you know, you should be more positive, you should be like cultivating positive thoughts and, 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 and have joy in your life, which is very nice, you know, and theoretically, but I mean, how, how does that, you know, take form concretely in a tangible way? And the only way I can, like I said, uh, like can talk about it is about, is, is with creativity. And uh, I find that when, for example, I'm in a situation, I'm in a bit of a rut, you know, when you feel like you're, you feel anxious or you feel that the situation around you may be family or, or a, a partner or friends or whatever, you feel that things are, you know, getting heavy and, and you feel that you're not necessarily vibrating on a, on a very positive note. There's different ways to use cre creativity to sort of get out of that rut. And um, well, obviously um, you can do as I do, which is to just like sit down and create something. I mean, we all have our different ways of creating, uh, different creative medias, obviously. Like I've said before, photography, drawing, whatever is your, you know, is appealing to your heart. But creativity, creativity I'm sorry, um, should not, I think, should not just be about arts um, because creativity is, is it's, a, it's an action that's much more broad than just, you know, creating works of art. Um, creativity can be uh, applied in so many different ways in our lives. I mean, uh, some people uh, are very creative in the way that they, they talk, they speak, in the way that they cook, in the way that they um, reorganize or harmonize their actual universe or their own, you know, their their home, their house. Uh, they, they try to find a sort of harmonious way to to make things in a higher vibration. You know, some clean, some do. I don't know. 
bake. <laughs> There's a thousand, thousands of ways to be not only creative, but to raise that vibration. And I think that um, we should, if possible, try to find our own personal way to uh, to find that uh, that joy within us, which you know drives us and gives us this this instant you know feeling of like oh things are better you know I I, I don't feel as anxious and I don't feel as fearful and. And um, so this is my little um, piece of wisdom for today. Uh, I don't know what it's worth, but you know, I wanted to share that because uh, I have to say that personally during this whole confinement and the whole COVID thing for the whole year, uh, not only has creativity uh, saved you know, my life in a way because it has permitted me to bloom and to enjoy life and to find joy in every single moment of, life, of my life, but also I've learned to, to find that creative approach and creativity within all, all kinds of spheres and, 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 and yeah, spheres in my life, you know, uh, trying to apply the creative process that gives you joy, you know, and, and makes you like be happy like a little kid. You know, I try to apply that to other spheres of my life, such as, you know, like I said, cooking, when I, you know, do the dishes, when I do, um, when I, I'm, I'm not a big cook, you know, I don't like cooking so much, you know, you know for me to find creativity in drawing cooking is like, wow, you know, it's a, so it's a proof that, you know, you can find that joy in that high vibration within any kind of activity. And even if it's an activity that doesn't really appeal to you, like cooking does not to me, um, there are ways to make it creative and, and, you know, put some music on, dance in your, in your home. Uh, while you're doing it, um, you know, um, listen to something positive, something beautiful, something that uh, makes you laugh, something that, you know, gives joy and beauty into your life or into your, your, your the, the space you live in. So yeah, so that's my, um, that's my little words for today. So I uh, hope uh, this message will give you an opportunity to re to explore your own creativity and joy in uh, everyday life and simple things of life. And uh, I think mindfulness is about that as well. You know, it's just finding that joy and the high vibration within every single activity, every single present moment, which is what the whole Zen meditation and mindfulness movement is all about. Uh, there's nothing very complicated about it, just being there and enjoying it and just be completely there and, and, and just vibrate with everything you've got. Uh, so that's it for today. So I wish you a good day and take care. Bye.